couple days ago, the country's brightest and most notable scholars came together to create a brand new country. In only the matter of days, this country is now free from the burdens of capitalism, police brutality, and the court system. In a complete sign of weakness and cowardice, the Seattle police has bent over to thugs and let them completely take over six blocks worth of the city, including a now abandoned police precinct. Now usually these morons are told no from their mommy when they throw a fit, and that makes them very angry. But the police let them do whatever they wanted, and now they think they have created an entire new country within our country. This is what happens when Tommy, the Antifa warrior, has no bedtime. This new country has been named the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone by Collective Black Voices, a very stunning and brave after school club. The country even has its own warlord. That's how you know they mean business. Now I have a lot of things I want to say about this Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, but some of my opinions might be too juicy for social media. Which is why you need to visit libertyhangout.tv right now if you want to watch the full uncut version of this video, and also get access to even more exclusive and uncensored content from me. Or visit patreon.com slash Bennett where just $5 a month can gain you access to my private Facebook group. Local media has been calling the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone also known as Chaz, a peaceful zone because vandalism and theft are very peaceful. Within the vandalized borders of this zone, tents are popping up and protesters are camping out. And what I would guess is an attempt to not have their businesses eventually destroyed, some shops being held hostage within the zone or offering supplies, food, and bathrooms for people. Not like they wash up much anyway. So you're probably wondering, what the hell happens now? How does the city reclaim their stolen land? Ah. The leaders put their brains together and mustered up a collective IQ of three and came up with a lengthy list of demands that if met, they will fork over the land that they stole. Let's review some of their most totally sensible demands. They not only want the police abolished, but they want the entire court system thrown out as well. They want ICE to be barred from operating within the city limits. Now all that's going through my head is no police, so no enforcement of taxation, so no funding to illegal immigrants anyway. Their second demand is that while transitioning to abolishing the police, officers must be disarmed, even of their batons and shields. This would make sense after protesters injured 749 officers and killed 20 people, including a number of police officers. Criminals love their victims to be left defenseless. Adding to this point, they also demand the abolition of prisons, because that's where most of them end up anyway. They don't even want police in schools. Leaving schools without police officers is very dangerous for obvious reasons. They want reparations for victims of police brutality. And I'm sure this girl will be the first in line. <laughs> They demand the decriminalization of rioting, looting, and assault, or what they like to call protesting. They refer to the police department as a former terrorist cell and want everyone who was arrested by them to receive a get out of jail free card. They want felons currently serving time to be able to vote. They don't make the distinction between violent versus non-violent felons, just all felons. Hmm. I'm starting to think that maybe Bernie Sanders wrote this list. They demand autonomy be given to the people to create localized anti-crime systems as they literally sat there committing crime as they wrote this. This one is my favorite. They are demanding what language you use while not seeing the irony of this specific demand. If there are no police, how are they going to enforce this? What is going to be the penalty if someone calls them? illegals and their economic demands because economically illiterate individuals should definitely be speaking on this topic, they want a plethora of state-funded programs and state-enforced policies. For example, they want rent control, city-funded arts, free college as reparations for black people, and an end to evictions. Gee, sure does sound like something the police will have to enforce, because I'm not paying for it. Their health and human services demand section is my absolute favorite, as they advocate for segregated hospitals and demand where residents spend their money. They show their baffling inability to be consistent with their prior demands by wanting a new mental health night 
911 center. There will be no 911 to call if you have no police. Finally, their demands end with changes they want. Yes, these people want to the public education system in Seattle. My favorite is their demand to make a non-biased training course become a legal requirement for educators, healthcare workers, and the media. But guess who gets to create this non-biased training course? Them. I'm totally convinced they will have a lot of fair things to say about President Trump in the classroom. Before today, I would have probably said that none of this word vomit of a demand letter would ever actually be granted. But corporate America has already caved to the demands of the protesters, rioters, and looters by firing tons of white people if they dare criticize the violent tendencies of Black Lives Matter. I'm urging everyone to do the obvious. Move out of cities, find a safe community in rural America, and raise your family free from the poison called liberalism. Now there's a lot more I'd like to say about this topic, but unfortunately, that's all I can tell you over YouTube and Facebook. If you sign up right now at libertyhangout.tv, you'll be able to watch the full uncut version of this video, where I give you my full uncensored opinions about this silly little arts and craft project that Antifa has started. Go there right now, libertyhangout.tv. You will not regret it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit that subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. If you want to support my work, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett and receive cool perks like an autographed photo from me in the mail each month. Or you can go to CaitlinBennett.org and get up to 75% off and free shipping on supplements and merchandise to support my work and start living a healthy life. My favorite product, it's Turbo Force because it gives me all the energy I need to make it through a long day of doing interviews. There are tons of other health supplements you can choose from to keep your body healthy during these uncertain times. And check out the website band.video to see uncensored content from conservative creators that have been erased from social media. When you visit libertyhangout.org store, you are not only supporting the Liberty Hangout team, but you become part of the team. Visit right now and you can get exclusive t-shirts, hats, posters, and more that supports our work. But more importantly, supports our cause. When you purchase a shirt from the Liberty Hangout store, you become a symbol of freedom to those around you. Visit libertyhangout.org store to get your merchandise today.